Just wanted to make a really quick video about people who may be struggling to get their tail lights to turn on on an Evolution cart. Now, there's this little turnstock here that you switch, and what happens is you should see these symbols appear on your dash. When I go to this first one, my tail lights should come on, and then when I go to the next one, my tail lights should also be on, including my headlight. These should be triggering changes on your dash. If you're not seeing those changes, the culprit could be the turn signal stock. With about six Phillips screws, you can take off the plastic that surrounds the steering wheel stock area, and there's this clip on the top. It's this clip that acts as a switch for the turn signal stock. Now, the yellow wire is the pass-through for the first notch here, and the red wire acts as the second notch here. And so you can see when I have it plugged in and everything's working correctly, first notch, my little light comes on that shows me my taillights are working, second notch, I have the headlight beam. If you're not seeing that, it's possible that your turn signal stock, the switch inside of here, is acting up, and I'm going to show you how to test it. So you're going to grab a multimeter and you're going to put it in this symbol here, which is continuity mode. What that does is when your probes touch each other and they allow current to pass through, it'll make a beep. So what we want to make sure is that this stock is actually passing the signal through. To do that, we're going to undo the switch like this, and we're going to put our black probe in the black wire and the other probe, if, we're, if it's your daytime taillights that aren't turning on, in the yellow hole here. Okay, with my probes inserted into the plug, I'm going to switch the stock, and I hear at that first and second mode a beep, which is good. That means that the switch is passing through the current. If you don't hear a beep, that means that the stock is not sending the signal back to the head unit and the cart itself doesn't know you've actually switched the switch and that your headlights are on. And so if you're not hearing that beep, the other thing you can test is the red wire is your full headlights, uh, and that would test whether or not the full switch is on. The yellow wire is the first two notches. So if you're not um, hearing the beep while you're switching your switch, then potentially the stock itself has got wet or is broken, and maybe it's time to order a new stock. Uh, also, the only other thing to do is make sure that this connection looks good. There's no loose wires up here or anything else like that. To 100% confirm that the stock is the issue, you could go to the cart side of the harness and put a small piece of wire in to bypass the switch. This will essentially act as a way to force that switch to be on. And you can see here on my dash, the symbol is there and my taillights are on. So that is one way to just quickly confirm when I pull this out, it will go back off.